Okay, we're here to you another integral from the Swinby 2019. This one's problem number seven. We have the integral from zero to one of x to the fifth times e to the x cubed dx. Okay, to get started with this, the thing that stands out really is this x cubed. We really don't want that there. We'd like that just to be like e to the x or e to the minus x or something. So I think what I wanna do is start with the u substitution right away with this for u equal to x cubed. And then I'll take a derivative. So our du value derivative of this is just gonna be power rule three x squared dx. And actually, before I do this substitution, I'm actually going to break this up and just try to set up this substitution because we don't have 3x squared anywhere, so I want to create that. So I'm going to kind of reorder this, and first we'll bring our ex cubed first, and then I'm going to create this at the end as 3x squared dx just because that's going to be our du value. But in order so I don't change it, one thing I can do is if I multiply in one-third here, one-third times three is just one, and if I multiply in with the x cubed, now you multiply this all out, this, is to, this all together is just gonna get back to our x to the fifth, so I haven't changed it. And so now with this being our u and this being our du, I can just go ahead, oh, sorry. And now I think we have this all set up because we've got our u here, we've got our u here now, and then this is just gonna be du. So let's go ahead and substitute this. Sorry, I forgot the bounds here, but anyway, we'll go ahead, first I'll bring this one third out front, and then next we'll update our bounds, plugging in one, one cubed, still one. Same thing with zero, you plug zero in, it's still zero. Then for this part, this is just gonna become e to the u. This is gonna give me a u here, and this right here is du. But for this, what we can do is just integration by parts. We'll come over here and do this using the di method or tabular integration. I'm gonna to wanna to differentiate u because that's gonna differentiate all the way down to zero. So we'll differentiate u, integrate this, plus minus plus. Coming over here, derivative of u is just one, derivative of one, that's just zero. Then over on the right, integral of e to the u, e to the u, do it one more time, and we're all set. Now we don't have to worry about the last row because we had a zero in there, so we're not integrating this one. We just can go and pick up our solution on the diagonals. So let's see what happens. We've got a one third in front. We have e to the u in common, so let's factor the e to the u out in front. And then taking this, this is just gonna be u minus one. And we just need to evaluate from zero to one. Let me get a little more space just in order to finish this off because I'm running out of room. So we'll clean this up. And then coming over here, doing this, plugging in one first, this is going to transform into one third. Plugging it in here, we're going to have this just going to become e, like e to the one. And this is going to be one minus one. But of course, this thing is zero. So this whole first term's going away. So then we just need to evaluate at zero. But we got a minus sign here. So this is going to become minus one third. e to the zero is just one. Then we plug a zero in here, we get zero minus one. Then putting this all together, minus times minus is gonna give me a plus. And so for my final solution of this, we just get one over three. Okay, there you have it. Good one today from Swinby 2019. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.